Harmful algae growth causes severe health problems in both humans and animals. The NOAA took very disturbing images of Lake Erie in the summer of 2019 showing levels of algae like that in record-setting bloom of 2011. This is disturbing to see as nothing substantial is being done. All governments can do is send personnel on boats to monitor and mitigate these blooms but this is both expensive and time-consuming. UAV technologies are used for many applications but have never been used to monitor and mitigate algae growth yet. Our team of experienced engineers are currently working on an innovative solution to monitor harmful algae growth on a scale as big as the largest lake in the world. And yes, the Caspian Sea has issues with algae blooms. Imagine a single rotor UAV, working with many other UAVs. These UAVs would work together in a constellation like how satellites work together, taking images of algae blooms. The single rotor UAV will be much more affordable than a quadcopter. The affordability will allow government agencies to buy them in bulk. There will be great demand for government agencies to mitigate algae growth in a more efficient and cost-effective manner. These UAVs will be modular, allowing for one unit to take images of potential algae growth and another to take samples to confirm algae growth on follow-up flights. They will also be autonomous by using machine learning algorithms to create flight paths based on where algae may potentially grow. Autonomy removes the need for personnel, which reduces cost and time spent dealing with the issue. Modular capabilities allow for further development, such as tools to mitigate these algae blooms. Our team has started working on this project. Single order UAV have been developed and are proven to work. They are proven to be cheaper than quadcopters. The technology is out there, but has never been used for what we intended to do with it. Our experienced team of engineers are certain to develop a solution to this problem. A small contribution can go a long way to help our experienced team develop an inexpensive prototype, which can help governments around the world monitor their water health.